sent a, this morning a letter to Speaker Zellers and Majority Leader Cope, which I think you have, that responds to yesterday where a hearing was set up without any notification of me, and two of my commissioners were contacted late just at noon, and without any um, conversation with me, and for a commission that you know, wasn't even set up until just a couple days ago with 13 Republican members and five DFL members, and excluding the DFL uh, leader in the House, uh, Paul Thiessen. So I you know, just, I don't understand why you know, this kind of uh, political stunt is being attempted at this stage of the process. We have a meeting tomorrow with the leadership. Uh, that's the proper place to discuss uh, the issues that remain to be resolved. They know what they are. I've been very clear for a long time now that you know I'm willing to compromise and I'm offer a compromise. And if you look at this chart, you'll see that even uh, taking their claim that there were once the 32 billion dollars, which is unsubstantiated, but even giving for them that the benefit of the doubt. They come up to thirty-four billion dollars. This is the thirty-nine billion dollars that current law uh, as of January required the state to spend the next biennium, and I've come down to thirty-five point eight billion, which is almost halfway. So again, I, I, you know, I've been willing to compromise for weeks now, and they're unwilling to compromise, and they're using every device possible to distract Minnesotans from the consequences of their budget, the drastic consequences <clears throat> on people in Minnesota, uh, and. You know, they've had their five months. They've been uh, dragging in 18 legislators at a cost of the taxpayers of over $3,000 for uh, per diems and travel expenses is, is just really not appropriate at this stage in the process. So, uh, and I also, in the letter, reiterated uh, a suggestion I made yesterday morning, which uh, they have at this point not agreed to, which is uh, to get a professional mediator in uh, for just these reasons, because this is just not productive. And it's not going to lead us to the resolution that we need before July 1st. So to get somebody who has the expertise and can set parameters and help define a process that will lead to a successful resolution, this is what in the best interest of all Minnesotans. And I would urge the speaker and the majority leader to reconsider their rejection of this proposal.